For years, Yolanda Malaria has worked with kindergartners at Mission Neighborhood Centers. When she saw her students after the attack nearly two weeks ago, they asked lots of questions about her sprained wrist, bruised eye, and three stitches after being pushed face down on the ground by her attacker. Te vimos tenías mucha sangre, mucha sangre. Esas cosas no son buenas ya para que los niños empiecen a verla. She says her students told her, when we saw you, you had a lot of blood. She says children seeing someone they know become the victim of a mugging is not a lesson they should have to learn. And today her friends and neighbors came together to demand change. <laughs> This news conference about Yolanda Malara's attack essentially turned into a neighborhood therapy session with residents voicing the frustrations about the state of the mission. For over the past year, we have begged and pleaded for better conditions, yet the situation only worsens day by day. The city feels like, for me, they feel like they, they just keep pointing fingers. All we want is to the city departments and our elected to officials to do their job. Business and community members say tents on the streets, open air drug use, and markets at 16th and 24th Street BART stations selling stolen items are all part of the problem. But the threat of violence, especially for most young people and elders, is the most troubling. Sequoia Wakazu Nakai described having to always be on alert for trouble for something as simple as the length of her skirt. I don't want people to stare and since there's so many people on the street who are like laying down and sitting down I'm scared that they can see up my skirt you know I don't I don't really feel safe this group is asking Mayor London Breed to declare a state of emergency in the Mission District. They point to all the resources the city sent to Union Square this Christmas season in order to make shoppers there feel safe. Supervisor Hillary Ronan was not invited to this event, but one of her aides says they understand the frustration and they're trying to help. We want to see greater coordination with uh, cleaning, with police, with MTA. Um, you know, in, in fact, the Cap Street is a good example where we had good cooperation. The mayor's office got involved. Last weekend, concrete barriers were installed along Cap Street to disrupt what residents say has been a huge spike in street prostitution. Members of this coalition say they want more solutions like that for other problems in the mission. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.